Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get this summery bronze look using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. If you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos. And also, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. It means so much to me and I really, really appreciate everyone's support. I'm going to start off by using some tape and I am just using this so that I can get a really precise line. Uh, with my eyeshadow today and I always prime my eyes before I do anything else so I am actually trying out the Too Faced Shadow Insurance for the first time in this video and I actually really really liked it. I love how it made my eyelids just feel so hydrated but not oily and my eyeshadow lasted all night long with no creasing whatsoever. Now let's get into the palette. I'm going to start out with the color Tempera. I apologize in advance for butchering all of these names. And I'm just using this to set my eye primer and also act as my base color. And this will help me not have any harsh lines with the other colors I put on top. Now I'm going to go use Burnt Orange and I'm using this in my crease and I use Windshield Wiper Motions to really blend out this color. Now I'm going in with the color Railgar and I'm concentrating that on the outer V of my eye. I also bring it onto my crease just a little bit just so I can blend the two crease colors together. And for my lid today, I'm going to use the color Primavera. I started using this color and it really wasn't as bold as I was wanting it to look. So I went ahead and took my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray and I sprayed my brush a little bit. And this is going to really help any glittery or shimmery shades really pop on your lid. It almost gives it like a metallic look. And I wanted my lids to be really, really bold. Now I'm just taking my big fluffy crease brush again and blending everything out. I didn't add any other color. And I'm going to go back in with Railgar and deepen that outer crease color. I felt like it wasn't as bright as I wanted it. And I'm also dragging that a little tiny bit onto the lid. I also tried out the Urban Decay Eyeliner for the first time and I'm just using this to tight line my upper lash line. And I really like this as well. It went on really smooth and it lasted all night with no issues. For usual, to line my upper lid, I'm using the Stila Liquid Eyeliner in Intense Black. I've already primed my face so now I'm going to conceal. And I'm concealing underneath my foundation today because I'm using the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation. And for some reason, I just like concealing first with that foundation. But I am just using this concealer all over wherever I want to add brightness to my face. And I am blending that out with my Real Techniques sponge. Next, I'm going in with the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation in the color Camel, and I am buffing that all over my face. I have a full review and demo on this foundation. If you want more information on it, I will leave a link below. Probably the best trick to use with Bare Minerals foundations to get full coverage is to buff into your skin in circular motions as much as possible to warm the product into your face, and it just really just melts into your skin. To spot conceal any blemishes, I'm using the Bare Minerals Matte Foundation and I am just going over any spots that I wanted to add a little extra coverage. I'm going in with the Lorac Pro Contour Palette and using the beige and yellow highlight shades and I am just setting anywhere that I used my highlight or concealer in the very beginning. Set the rest of my face, I'm using the Lorac Perfection in PF5 and I am just putting that everywhere else. I'm concentrating a lot where I have any visible pores and my T-zone. And then for bronzer slash contour today, I am using an old favorite, which is the Too Faced Chocolate Soule Bronzer. And I picked this up because I was out of my other bronzer, and I really, really like it. I remember why I loved it so much, and y'all, it smells so good. Who doesn't like the smell of chocolate? I'm using this bronzer really all over just to bronze up my entire face. Going in with one of my favorite drugstore blushes, which is the Milani blush in Luminoso. These blushes are so affordable and so pigmented, and apparently it's a dupe for the NARS Orgasm blush. Now I'm going in with my Becca highlighter in Opal. This is my favorite highlighter. I love how it makes your skin just really look like it's glowing, but not super glittery. My brows off camera, but I use the ABH brow pomade and taupe to fill those in lightly. 
back into my opal highlighter and I'm just going to highlight my brow bone. This really helps to lift your eyes. I like to put it in the corner of my eyes as well just to brighten the entire eye area. I'm going back with that Urban Decay eyeliner and I'm going to tight line my lower lash line. And to smoke out the lower lash line a little bit, I'm using the Rail Guard color again. I'm going to blend that along my lower lash line. Don't drag it down too far, but I just did a little bit just to really bring out that orange color. And I also went in with the color Golden Okra, and I'm just using this towards the inner corner of my eye. I just like to keep that area really bright. I blended that area out a little bit with an Old Mary Kay crease brush. set my entire face I used the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray and then I went in with my favorite L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara in Black is Black and then I applied Lip Sense in First Love off camera because it takes six years to apply but it's a really really pretty neutral color then I let my hair out of those clips and just kind of loosened up the curls brushed them out a little bit and that is it guys that is the full look I really hope that you enjoyed it and I can't thank you guys enough for taking the time to watch. Don't forget to subscribe and also give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks so much. See y'all next time.